Who decides how you look? The answer is simple, it should be you and you alone. But I have been compelled to ask this basic question tonight because of what's happening. Paris Fashion Week just wrapped up. Indian actor Ashwarya Rai Bachchan made stunning appearances on the runway. She made heads turn in a majestic golden shimmery gown. She looked every bit ethereal to say the least. But look at what people told her on social media. It disgusts me to read out these comments, but I have to. Plastic beauty. You are naturally ugly. One said, and I quote, Oh God, look at her fatty cheeks looking so horrendous. Another said, she looks so old. Let me read out another one. I used to like her a lot, but she isn't aging gracefully. Why can't she keep her weight intact? There is something called diet and exercise. These comments were made about the Ishwarya Rai, who was once crowned Miss World, once called the most beautiful woman in the world. Now she's being humiliated on social media for her looks. I can keep going on, but I don't want to. I don't want to give these nasty comments any more traction. Yes, people on social media have always been mean. They feel they have the right to mock someone's physical appearance, ridicule them, call them out on weight, age, their sartorial choices. They feel a public figure has earned the right to be abused like this, but this time they have gone overboard and we need to talk about it. Because their nasty comments are targeted towards women and women alone. Especially those women in their middle age. Oh, she has gained weight. Oh, she has lost weight. She is chubby. She is skinny. Her nose is fake. Her lips are filled. These are comments made about every woman in the public sphere. If only the same curtsy was extended to our male stars. Male celebs can be balding and aging, however they want. But have you heard any such comment about them? I personally haven't. Their beer bellies are to be proud of. Dad bodies have a separate fan base of their own. Their graying hair becomes sexy. Salt and pepper, they call it. The latest obsession of this mean army is Botox. To the mean army, Ashwarya Rai's cheeks apparently appear chubby. To the esteemed judges of social media, declare that she has got some tweakment done. In fact, some called her out for her Botox team. And they said that this Botox team, the so-called Botox team, should be fired. Well, we don't know if such a team exists. We don't know if the Bollywood megastar got any Botox. But we do know this. It's none of your business. What gives you the right to comment on her appearance? Let me be clear. This story is not about Ashwarya Rai or any other celebrity. It's about the troll army going after a woman's choice. If anyone, I repeat, anyone gets this so-called tweakment, who are you to police her? It's her face. She decides how she looks, how she wants to look. Don't like it? Don't stalk her on social media then. Don't look up her pictures. Don't watch her movies. Yes, you are entitled to your opinion, but a woman is under no obligation to hear it. There are professionals who make a living out of their looks. If they want to preserve their beauty, how is it harming you? If you had a choice and the privilege and the money, wouldn't you want the same? If a woman, any star, any veteran looks old, let me rephrase that, if she looks her age, social media and the social media police would age shame her. If she takes tweakments, social media would berate her. If she does nothing at all, social media would still find a way to target her. There is no winning. Netizens make humiliating comments and go about their business. Do they think of the person reading not one, but thousands of such comments at the end of their day. Indian actress Sri Devi is no more with us. But her husband and producer Boni Kapoor made some alarming revelations recently. Flawless as she was, still in a bit to look better, Sri Devi would go on no salt diets. Because of this, she would experience blackouts. She was, in fact, following one of the same routines at the time that she died. So many public figures have been accused of getting tweakments or cosmetic surgeries, as if it's a crime. There's Sri Devi, Rekha, Madhuri Dikshit, Anushka Sharma, Priyanka Chopra. Some public figures have been vocal about it. Some have chosen not to speak about it. We don't know if they actually got any treatment or not, but they have for sure received criticism for it. 
If a woman's face appears plumper or more youthful, you will see headlines about her getting Botox. If her wrinkles appear, you would say she deserves to play a younger actor's mother. But what about the male celebs? I don't see reports about hair transplants. I don't see any paps asking them about Botox, if any. I don't see before and after pictures being paraded on tabloids with leading male actors as targets. They're only getting younger and better with age, it seems. At the same Paris Fashion Week where Ashwarya Rai was age-shamed, another famous actor made headlines for being authentic. Do you recognize her? Pamela Anderson rock shows makeup free at 56. The former Baywatch star looked nothing like what you may remember her as. And that was the point. Look at Andy McDowell and Helen Mirren. They have been sporting natural grey hair. My point is simple. Aging is a privilege. You shouldn't have to look like who you were. You should be celebrated for who you are. Tweakment or no tweakment, it's none of your business. Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.